Have you noticed something interesting lately? More and more people are ditching Windows and shifting to Linux, not just tech enthusiasts, but regular users, organizations, and even governments. A few years ago, Linux was considered complicated, niche, and only for programmers. But today, that perception is changing fast. So the big question is, why are people ditching Windows for Linux? Is it just a trend, or is something fundamentally wrong with the direction Windows is taking? In this video, let's break it down calmly and logically. No bias, no Windows hate, just real reasons why Linux is suddenly gaining attention. Let's start at the top, governments. In several European countries, there's a clear push to reduce dependency on Microsoft and other US-based tech companies. Germany's Schleswig-Holstein state, for example, is planning to move around 30,000 government computers from Windows and Microsoft Office to Linux and LibreOffice. France's national police already use a customized version of Ubuntu Linux. Even smaller regions are experimenting with open source tools like OnlyOffice. The core reason here is something called digital sovereignty. Governments don't want their critical systems dependent on foreign corporations, especially during uncertain geopolitical times. With proprietary software like Windows, you don't control the code, the roadmap, or even pricing. With open source, you do. Now this shift isn't easy. Munich famously tried Linux years ago and later rolled back to Windows due to cost and management issues. But the key difference today is maturity. Linux and open source tools are far more polished than they were a decade ago, and Microsoft software is also becoming significantly more expensive. Now, let's talk about regular users. Windows 11 adoption has been surprisingly slow. Even after more than four years, it's only reached around 54% market share, while Windows 10 dominated much faster. Why? The biggest reason is hardware restrictions. Microsoft requires TPM 2.0, newer CPUs, and specific security features. On paper, this improves security. In reality, it has made millions of perfectly working PCs officially unsupported. Yes, there are workarounds, but most users don't want to hack their operating system just to install updates. Many feel forced to buy new hardware as the Microsoft has stopped the Windows 10 support in October 2025. And for Windows 11, they need to purchase latest PC. For users with older but capable machines, Linux suddenly looks very attractive. It runs smoothly, doesn't demand specific chips, and gives old hardware a second life. Another common complaint is performance and responsiveness. Even on powerful systems, some users experience UI lag in Windows 11. Things like slow start menu responses or delayed animations. These aren't deal-breaking issues, but they create frustration, especially when the system is running on high-end hardware. On top of that, Windows 11 doesn't feel like a revolutionary upgrade. Features like Copilot AI, Auto HDR, or a centered taskbar aren't enough to convince many users to upgrade voluntarily. Linux, on the other hand, feels faster and lighter, especially on modest hardware. Many users are surprised by how responsive their systems feel after switching. This is one of the biggest reasons people switch to Linux, privacy. Windows collects a large amount of telemetry data, usage patterns, search activity, diagnostics, and more. Even when you tweak privacy settings, much of this data collection continues in the background. For many users, this creates an uncomfortable feeling of being constantly monitored. Linux takes a very different approach. It's open source, meaning anyone can inspect the code. There's no forced telemetry, no hidden tracking, and no corporate ecosystem pushing ads or subscriptions. You decide what runs on your system, when it updates, and what data, if any, is shared. Privacy isn't about hiding secrets. It's about control and Linux gives users that control. Let's talk about updates. Windows updates are notorious for restarting systems at inconvenient times. Linux updates are manual and user controlled. You update when you want to. Then there's cost. Linux is completely free. No license fees, no activation keys, no subscriptions. For individuals, schools, and governments, this matters, especially when Microsoft keeps increasing prices. Linux also offers flexibility. 
You can choose a beginner-friendly distro like Linux Mint or Ubuntu, or something more advanced like Fedora or Arch. You can even try Linux using a live USB without installing anything. Now let's be honest, Linux isn't perfect. There's a learning curve. Some proprietary software doesn't exist on Linux. Gaming compatibility is much better than before, but not flawless. And switching requires patience. That's why not everyone should ditch Windows immediately. But the fact that more people are considering Linux says a lot. So, why are people ditching Windows for Linux? It's not one single reason. It's a combination of hardware restrictions, privacy concerns, rising costs, lack of control, and a growing desire for independence. Linux today is no longer just an alternative. It's a valid choice. Whether you switch completely or just experiment with dual boot, one thing is clear. Users are rethinking their relationship with operating systems. Technology should work for us, not the other way around. If you found this video helpful, like it, share it, and let me know in the comments. Have you tried Linux or are you still sticking with Windows?